Space, the final frontier. One of the most famous lines in television history. Space isn't quite the same mystery it was when Star Trek debuted more than 40 years ago. But the space program at Purdue University continues to probe deeply into the vast universe. Neil Armstrong, Gary Ross, Eugene Cernan, and 19 other NASA astronauts all share one common bond. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour. Not only have all of them traveled in space, they are all Purdue Boilermakers. Go Boilermakers! The first steps any of us took into space were taken right here on this campus. There's no question in my mind. Hail Purdue. 37% of all human U.S. space flights have had a Purdue graduate on board. And some of them have had two Purdue graduates on board. In addition to producing nearly two dozen astronauts, Purdue faculty and alumni have helped construct rockets and design experiments that have furthered the United States space program. The man who's called the father of the Hubble Space Telescope is one of our science graduates. In 2010, Purdue's Aerospace Engineering Department was approached by NASA to collaborate on a new project. The people at NASA know that we can do some pretty unique things here, particularly when you start to approach the practical things with research. There aren't too many laboratories like that in the U.S. Plus we have a, you know, a lot of excellent students and a lot of those excellent students end up going to NASA. It's a good place for NASA to come to, to do things. The new project is known as Project Morpheus. Its mission? To one day send a lunar lander equipped with robots, a rover, and a small lab to the moon to perform research. NASA is building the lunar lander, while Purdue Aerospace Engineering students are building a rocket thrust chamber, or engine, that is needed to land Morpheus on the moon's surface. This is rocket science. The thrust chamber that we would be building would be placed at the very bottom, just like before, um, and would serve to um, lift this vehicle from the ground. It needs to provide enough thrust so that it lowers itself slowly to the ground and just kind of drops in a, in a fairly benign fashion. The worst thing that could happen is probably it could blow up. <laughs> but we fully expect a successful flight. It's going to want to sort of, you know, twist around and to counteract that since there are no fins, you might have small little rocket engines placed in key locations around the vehicle so that as it, you know, tilts to this side, this rocket engine fires to push it the other way. All right, we ready to go? Purdue's engineering students relish the opportunity to contribute their creativity and innovation, working in tandem with NASA. We need some new thinking that is lower cost, more efficient, and a lot of new creative ideas. And so doing that at the university student level is just so important. And, and who knows where it can take us. A lot of times you'll find out that students, particularly, who aren't encumbered by a lot of past experiences are the ones who come up with the best designs, or the most innovative designs that actually work. We expect that we're gonna come up with a very good design and that NASA will be using it. The oxidizer is gonna get injected in the middle here and it will shoot out the radial holes. Uh, this way that annulus is gonna interact. Uh, with the, the rocket thrust chamber gonna... took over a year and a half just to design and analyze. Currently, the prototype is being constructed. So after this, I think we should assemble the uh, pencil onto the injector plate. 
We've been pouring our heart and soul into doing the analysis and the design on the computer and we went through uh, a number of design reviews uh, and we finally got the design finalized uh, and then we sent that design out to the machine shop. The greatest you know, feeling thus far has been when we got those parts back from the machinist and actually assembled it for the first time. The challenge is what I really enjoy about this entire field, finding a solution to make things work and that's really exciting for me. All right, Brittany, go ahead and close and bolt the control room doors. We are ready to go. The aerospace engineering team will continue to refine the design with the hope of beginning testing in May of 2012. NASA hopes to test the rocket thrust chamber on Project Morpheus in the fall of 2012, which will mark the latest contribution by Purdue to the nation's space program. Our students make them up with something that can be very useful to the future of spaceflight. We're very much at a turning point right now. We're going to start exploring deep space again, hopefully, and maybe they'll come up with something to be very helpful. I see imagination. I see a desire to do new things, a, a kind of recklessness, a sense of adventure, and also a wanting to help shape what the future will look like. It is just what you want every student to have.